All right, hey everyone. This is episode four. Just a final uh, run through on the hardware. I now have the effector and direct drive extruder mounted to the ball arms here. I do recommend you put M3 nuts on the end of these as well as on the effector. The kit for the Hayden uh, Huntley arms does come with some super lube, so some uh, PTFE uh, lubricant that you can put on the ball ends here, the cups, to prevent wear and uh, friction. So definitely make sure you do that. The little nut here is a 10 mil, so I actually just use a 10 mil socket, works really well to hold those on there and screw them in and get them nice and tight, so that's all nice there. I've got my end stops all wired up. We'll go through that here in a moment. Belt tensioner is all set up with my belts tensioned. See the pulleys down here. I just have a old Delta build plate down here, a small one just with some um, painter's tape holding it on. Works very well so far. All right, for electronics here, um, pretty straightforward. So you can see here for the end stops, I've separated out the voltage line. So the voltage wire and all three of these, I've taken the voltage wire and I've combined them and I've just plugged them into the NeoPixel port here on the SKR. It's a bit hard to see here. My wiring's a bit messy right now, but you can see this one pin right here is just a five volt line on this, um, normally for NeoPixels, which I'm not using and that's powering up the actual end stops. The other two wires here are just ground and signal, and they're just going to the three end stops here on the SKR. So X, Y, Z, or A, B, C end stops here. These two here are for my nozzle cooling fan and my part cooling fan. One of these is temperature controlled as well, so you can actually set that up for your nozzle cooling fan, and it won't turn on until it gets to, I believe, 50 degrees or until um, clipper detects that it's heating up, it'll turn the fan on automatically. So it's really handy. I can leave this printer on like it is right now and there's no noises, no fan spinning or anything like that. I have my three motors wired up and then I have my extruder wired up there. I also do have another important piece, the actual um, auto level sensor for Delta. Um, this is only around $10. It just attaches to the nozzle. It's got a little foam um, piece here. And that just basically attaches to the nozzle right here. Works really, really well. Very, very accurate. And it actually goes into the BL Touch or um, probe uh, connector here. Uh, very straightforward ground signal and power. So that's only about $10 and it works awesome. We'll do a demonstration of that in, an, in another video. That's how Clipper calibrates the printer, but otherwise, um, yeah, the Raspberry Pi is just connected via USB. I've uh, got Clipper compiled and installed on the SKR. In the next episode, episode five, we'll be going over how to install Clipper, what type of interfaces you can choose, and what a config file looks like for a printer like this. So, again, I do have most of the parts for this printer on the GitHub now, if anyone wants to print them out. Uh, this printer is printing. You can see here I have some sample uh, prints. Really, really nice. Other than some uh, part cooling fan or um, slicer settings, um, they print very, very well. I have a Benji, Benji here as well. This only has two walls, so you can see the infill in here. Otherwise, though, it's uh, pretty much perfect benchy. As well, a calibration cube, too. I believe this is a 0.2 layer height on the cube. So, all right. If you have any questions, please definitely comment below. Feel free to subscribe. I've got more videos coming. Like I say, we're going to be doing a full run through on how to install Clipper and how a config file is set up, what interface you'd like to choose, and that type of thing. All right, everyone. Thanks again.